One million jobs are going in Tory Britain. What have we done to ourselves? Why have we let these lot in to rule us? Because fiscally and monetarily, the two powers of the government and the Bank of England seem to have aligned together. The Bank of England welcomed the cuts. Why did they do this? Why did the Bank of England have a loose monetary policy just as the Federal Reserve did? But not to as great an extent as the Federal Reserve did, but they still believe in the same principle that they can increase and inflate the economy out of recession. This, this and the borrowing earlier may have made the recession less deep or, as, uh, or less harsh, but it still did cause the recession. Now we have a 158 billion black hole that needs to be fixed. But the argument goes that the government has to tax and cut because of this deficit that is 158 billion. But let's put this in perspective, shall we? The tax take for Britain is 1.7 trillion a year. We gave the banks 500 billion pounds. That's a little fraction of the 14 point seven trillion pounds that they put that they put us into debt. We now own the banks. How comes we are owing them a debt? They are owing us a debt. They owe us about thirty thousand pounds per individual. And yet we are going to lose a million jobs. Five hundred thousand in the private sector and five hundred thousand civil servants are going to lose their jobs. And their names are civil servants. Politicians should remember that they too are civil servants when they attack civil servants. Civil servants such as the police, as hospital workers, as doctors, nurses, as teachers. People in the university system are going to be harmed by us. This is going to, and in the army, people are going to lose their jobs. 7,000 to 45,000 people in the army between now and 2015 will lose their jobs. This is a massive cut, and in fact the defence cuts are not a cut of 8% or 4%, they're a cut of 16%. General Richard Dannett today explained that there was already a 38 million overspend during the Labour time era because of the, the, the overall lack of defence spending. We only spend £40 billion a year on our defence but the overspend is 38 billion. So you can add 78 billion in total we spent on our defence for that year. But we were only allowed to spend that amount because we were in an emergency situation with Afghanistan. The bin Ladens, Osama bin Laden alone, not to, not to count the rest of his, his uh, crooked family, are spending 40 billion pounds on. In 2003 pounds, when the pound was worth much more, put that in today's pounds, they might be spending over 80 billion on Al Qaeda. How can we compete against this crime family who have so much power over the oil and uh, infrastructure of, the, of Saudi Arabia and Yemen? We are not even on the, sim, on, on the same in the same ballpark figure. We only we're at, well we're only just in the same ballpark area. Together with this, we've got a million abandoned homes in Great Britain because of unattainable surplus. That's a surplus that's produced, but people don't have the means and money to attain it. And more people are going to lose their jobs, and more people are going to lose their homes because of this. We are not only taxing, increasing taxing on the poorest. That is the Tory Party is increasing taxes, not Infocamp. On the poorest people, we have taxed the banks two billion for the five hundred billion that they that they stole off of us, and this is proportional. The two billion that was taken off of child tax credits is this proportional. Hardworking families are losing their their children's uh, money that goes towards their children's education in, in further education, but yet and also for their nursery school places, and yet we are constantly, the Tory party is constantly taxing us and cutting at the same time. This isn't a fiscal stimulus, 
as is happening in the United States. It's the reverse of a fiscal stimulus. We are fiscally contracting, and it's being done for ideological reasons. Margaret Thatcher isn't even, didn't even go as far as this government, according to Polly Toynbee. And Polly Toynbee would remember, since she was in the 80s, uh, a professional in the, during the 80s, uh, and a political pundit. Polly Toynbee, I believe, has got it right. That this is being done for ideological reasons. George Osborne was caught on camera saying, more, more to the cuts in the Westminster Parliament. Yes, we have you on camera because we film the Westminster Parliament because it's part of our democracy. But you forget something. There will be action and there will be a response from the people, just as France has, has seen a response from the people, when you take away British jobs from British workers. Thank you for listening. And keep you, I'll keep you posted on what they're doing.